Hello everyone, my name is Marius Karalambus and uh, this is the first episode of Long Story Short, a free monthly video series that I have prepared for you and what better place to kick this off than from here, on top of Lekabedris Hill overlooking the beautiful Acropolis of Athens. As you may have already read in my blog description, I'm going to be using this channel of communication with you to share views and insights on both business issues as well as subjects of general interest. So for today, we're going to be talking about idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's right, idiots. The presidential elections are coming up in Cyprus at the end of uh, January 2018. And uh, just like many other developed countries, Cyprus does face a very serious problem of idiocy. You see, in the English language, the word idiot is taken to mean a person lacking intelligence or acting in a self-defeating or significantly counterproductive way. What you may not be aware of, however, is that the term idiot originated from here, Athens, Greece. An idiot in Athenian democracy was characterized by two main attributes. One, self-centeredness, in that they were concerned exclusively almost with private matters as opposed with public affairs. And two, ignorance, in that idiocy was presumed to be the natural state into which all persons were born, whereas its opposite, citizenship was assumed to be affected through formalized education. Thus, in ancient Athens, idiots were born, whereas citizens were made through education. There is a fundamental difference between the ancient Athenian democracy, however, and uh, its modern interpretations, in that the ancient Athenian democracy was direct. Everyone had the right to address the public at the Ecclesia of Demos, Whereas in modern democracies, we have to vote for someone else to represent us in the parliament. In that way, in that sense, they are indirect. Consequently, there is increased debate in our days whether idiocy might actually be the ideal course of action at a time where mainstream politicians become all the more secluded from everyday people like us. But idiocy is not the answer. Education and increased public life awareness that would allow you to form an informed opinion on matters is. Make no mistake, casting an informed vote takes both time and effort. But it is worth both. Because, as a very popular election commercial says, voting gives you the right to complain over the next four years. So, if you didn't bother providing your vote, giving your opinion when it was asked of you. What makes you so different than the very same politicians you're accusing of self-centeredness? Being called an idiot in Athens was the ultimate offense. Having the privilege of being asked as to who would lead your community was something unheard of at that time. So you had to be a real idiot, <laughs> literally a real idiot, <laughs> to squander such a privilege. It's been almost 2,500 years since uh, Clisthenes introduced the most successful way of governance the world has ever known. And uh, I get the feeling that we here in the Western world forget sometimes about how lucky we are. Even today, democracy is anything but granted. Just as the people in North Korea, Saudi Arabia, or even China for that matter, where they truly believe that they live in democratic societies. Maintaining our democratic system of government takes constant effort. Less time in the demagogues will start taking their toll in it. And you wouldn't like losing something as valuable as your own voice in the world. Therefore, to cut a long story short, go vote, see you at the polling stations, and until next month, I am Maris Karalambus, signing out.